Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the User of Bricks channel. Today we will be covering uh, structures and possibly ranged items. So let's get into it. We'll do structures first. So for this, for a structure, you will you will need to go over to the structures tab over here. And then you have a range of things you can choose. You can import structure from Minecraft, which that means the test environment. Or you can choose a schematic, which only works with vanilla blocks. Or you can choose uh, NVT files, which uh, works with uh, programs that export NVT files, like uh, like Minecraft itself through the structure blocks, but uh, more importantly, uh, uh, MC Edit. That's one that I know that exports NVT files. So yeah, first off. As I said, you'll need to import uh, one of your things. Today, I am going to be importing one of my custom things, uh, Blacksmith and Stone Guy. That's just the f name of the file I, I created. And there we have it. We have our structure file. Now, here, th this, this won't spawn uh, naturally until you go back to Mod Elements and add the structure spawn, which is has the S uh, uh, hotkey. So, within this, within this, uh, there are a multitude of uh, options. And if you hear anything in the background, that's just kittens running around, jumping all over everything, and being overall a little bit annoying. Kind of. They're cute. Anyway, so we have that. You can also add from your computer, and that does stuff. It will do the whole process that we just did for you, just be careful with it. It's e it'll be make a lot more sense uh, if, if you're going through the other way. Anyway, there's spawn prob probability. Uh, it is uh, not normally set to ten thousand out of one million chunks, meaning it will spawn one every what would that be? One hundred chunks. So yeah, it's pretty common. I will uh, up that to 20 just so that we see it. Uh, spawn location, you can have it in the air, underground, or on the ground. This uh, is an on the ground one, but the others work just the same. Uh, world type, you can have it in the surface or in the nether. Uh, you can't do it in the end yet. I hope they will, M Creator will add that soon. Oh my kittens, you are, sound like you're destroying everything. <laughs> oh my. Uh, you can restrict your, uh, uh, the spawning by a block or biome. Those both work. So yeah. And that's, I believe, that's it. That's it for the structure. So yes, we will be getting to ranged items. Anyway, uh, for the structure, yeah, it, it's all ready to go. You could also do some special things with procedures with the structures files you have added in, but of course, most people just want to make it spawn. Okay. Now let's move on to the ranged item, which has a hotkey of N. Yeah, let's name this uh, ranged book, because I will be using the item up here 
to do it. Okay, so create new ranged item. Create item texture. We actually no, let's import a new texture. Let's go back to my desktop modding and guidebooks. Let's get a different one. The black one. Select. Okay. Or is that the dark blue? I can't fully tell. Anyway. There are multiple different things. You can have it have a custom model or and stuff like that, OBJ or JSON, just like a normal uh, item. Uh, you can have it render type, which just makes it custom where you can use the OBJ or JSON files. And then there are, and then immediately is the procedures that you can have. When a bullet hits block, bullet hits player. When bullet is flying in the air. Uh, when the ranged item is used. Okay, so yeah, so on the next page is where you uh, have the name in for the GUI, and this will be ranged book. And let's give it our custom tab. Yeah, so item for ammo. And then, and hold on, let me see something real quick. Right, you do need to add that. You can add your another item. Huh, blurb. Oh, right, that's, yeah, that would be the other thing. Now you again have to put that there. You can make the bullet have its own custom model when it's flying through the air. So yeah, you can have it shoot constantly on right click. And yeah, it's pretty simple. That is for like machine guns and such because they have, well, different things added. Uh, item usage usage count. You can have this as little or as most as you want. Let's just leave it at a hundred. You can have it. You you can have different sounds. And let's let's have it at just the normal arrow shoot. Okay, now next is the bullet power. That's how much, uh, I believe that's how fast it goes and how straight it goes. So higher means it'll be more like the new crossbow. And then bullet damage, you can put that up to however much you want. Knockback, you can put it however up you want or down, whatever. You can have the bullet has particles or it ignites fire when it hits the ground. I believe that's what it means. But yeah, and that's that's the ranged item done. So yeah, and just to let you know why I am, am just doing these two for right now is because my recording time at the moment is very limited. Uh, as of the recording of this episode, I, on the 11th, I am leaving tomorrow on the 12th of, what would that be, November, uh, for India. And, I, and by the time that this episode is out, I should be back from India, because I come back on Thanksgiving Day which I believe is the 22nd. Yeah. Anyway. Hello. We are in the test world. And Kushi, my little kitten, is wanting to purr into the microphone. I'm sorry, Kushi, you can't be up here. Okay. Back to game. Let's find the um, the structure. Ah, 
here it is. That was easy because I have it spawning so commonly. Yeah. So yeah, the, it spawns. This structure will be in my uh, mod, The Traveler's Adventure. So yeah, some of the things, yeah. This is just a cool thing that I added. So yeah, this, that shows that the structures, the structures work. Okay. Let's check out that ranged item. We can go into this, go here, the ranged book. Then we can go into miscellaneous and grab its ammo. Dead. Because the damage is so high. It killed the slime, but the slime didn't fall apart. And spawn four more. Huh, that's interesting. Du, 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 du. Yep, the machine gun feature works. Oh my, that's why we didn't see the four. It launches it off so very far away. So, let's aim at the building. Let's go over here. Yep, it did split apart. The knockback, as you saw before, I turned up really high. So it, yeah, it, it makes the entities go crazy. So yeah, that ha that is this uh, rather short uh, episode for structures and ranged items. I hope you found it helpful. And yeah, like the button if you did find it helpful or just enjoyed it. And also uh, consider hitting the, the like button.